Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with Mr. Cool, I guess, Josh Reese. What's up? I am Mr. Cool. I'm feeling really great today. Yeah. It's... I, I like hurricanes. I like destruction. I like devastation. And I'm really kind of pissed that I was I was gearing up for Hurricane Janice. Is, is that what it was? Oh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. But it was supposed to hit. Hit, Bo- hit at Beaumont, which is like 40, 60 miles away. Mm-hmm. But didn't come to Houston. I was kind of disappointed. When was I like the to rain. Happen? Today? It was supposed to happen a couple of days ago. Oh. But I'm, I love the rain. And I don't pay attention to things, as you can see. Yeah. No. It's not wrestling, so why would I pay attention to it? Well, all you have to do is pay attention to wrestling. That, that's pretty much your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a beautiful day outside, as you can see. It's not really no, a beautiful it's not, day. No, it's not a beautiful and day. And the problem is, it's not sunshiny, but it's not rainy either. Well, We're stuck rainy. in the in between gray shit, it was which rainy. is annoying. But it it's not rainy. raining now. No. I like the straight torrential downpour. I love to fall asleep to the rain. It's one of my favorites to be cuddled, cuddling and then falling asleep to the rain. I really love it. <laughs> and who are you cuddling with? Well, you know, I don't have anybody now, so just hold on to pillows. You cuddle a pillow pillow when you sleep? I do, because I sleep on my side, and sometimes it helps when I'm. Do you put the pillow behind something. you, or no? <laughs> no, I, I'm the big spoon. I'm the big spoon. You spoon a pillow? No. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If there was, what a if you spoon. get like excited? Do you also fuck the pillow? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you I do not. Maybe awake. <laughs> I think she's awake. Do you, is, do you draw like a face on the pillow? Is there like no. a I've never had. Well, I take that. No, I won't. I won't get into that. It gets. Yeah, oh, no, really? not not about a pillow. I'm thinking about an ex, but um, she was awake. But it doesn't matter. Wow. <laughs> oh, she so was. you you had a you raped. She was awake. So she was awake when you. Raped I'm not her? going. To, we're not going to get into that. Okay. But I'm oh, Andrew. You're you're with someone now. Yeah. I mean, have you ever had 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 sex while you know she was sleeping? No. 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 No? I'm not into that. I need the girl to want me to, like, be excited. Otherwise, it's lame. Then you might as well just fuck a a fucking blow-up doll. Well, you would wake her up as she's, you know. No. Hmm. Okay. Different strokes for different folks. The person has to be into it. Yeah, they get into it. I'm not, like, going to fuck a dead body. You you never have woken up with the girl, you know, uh, playing with you? Yeah. Well... They're trying to get you excited. All right. It's the same way for, for men, the other way. Okay. Yeah. So you're a raper. I am not. <laughs> I'm a very sensual lover. I'm Hispanic. Sens- well, yeah. I'm Hispanic. I, we're, we're very tender. I mean, hey, Cosby's like a romantic rapist. I don't think that's right. Oh, my God. Did you see one of the pictures of the lady that, that, he, that he allegedly raped? Mm-hmm. I mean, one Weird. of them? What do you mean? Weird. She looked like like a... Strange version of Carrot Top. That's the one that accused. That's the one that was in the uh, involved with the trial. The lead accuser or whatever. She was. Yeah. It was the trial was only about her case. It just makes me wonder. And, and this and this goes back to Tiger Woods as well. You remember Tiger Woods when he was uh, having sex with all the Porn all the stars? No, he was having sex with the people from Waffle House. What are you talking about? Don't you remember Tiger Woods back in the day when he was having sex with the when he had the affair and all this stuff came I out? I don't. I don't. I didn't hear anything about. Oh like, yeah, fucking Waffle House. Go look. He was fucking Waffle House. Waffle Employees? House people. Yeah, that's that's and that's what made me think. I was like, and then yeah, Bill Cosby fucking this really rando looking lady. Can't these guys get better women than that? Yeah, but Tiger Woods I've also slept with better women. He also banged porn stars. Yeah, but I'm just saying. At and the it, porn stars that he banged were good looking. They were, but at the height of Tiger Woods' peakness, uh, when he was just fucking everybody that walked, he literally did fuck everybody that walked. 
And it was where, where did you hear about the the Waffle House? Go look, type it, put it in your phone right now. Tiger, type no, in I'm Tiger just, Woods. I believe you. I'm just asking the fucking. I'm asking a question. I just, I just remember it. It's one of the things that stuck so out my head. You would go to Waffle House and pick up the, the waitresses. Yeah, I guess so. Very strange. Waffle House is terrible, though. It's terrible I agree. Food. That's why the memes and jokes are out there. Why couldn't he at least go to IHOP or, <laughs> or Denny's or something like that? Yeah. Find a little bit better class of woman. Instead of the, and I, I don't it mean to It also makes you wonder that, like, if Lindsay Vaughn Waffle knew House. all that, why would she, get, like, hook up with Tiger? Right? Like, you're fucking Waffle House That chicks? is one dirty dick. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. Awful. Seriously. Feel bad for Tiger Woods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now apparently I, been, he's off the wagon again. I've only been to Waffle House a couple times because I, I hate it. And I was, you know, I haven't been in a long really? time. It's yeah, not bad. I think it's terrible food. The waffles are terrible. Like, I'd rather uh, toast an Eggo. The Eggo waffles are better. Mm. The Eggos are pretty good, though. I'm just saying, like, but if you go to a restaurant, the waffle should be better than a fucking Eggo. Wow. If you're going to Waffle House, it's because it's the only thing open I at 3 a.m. I hop and Denny's are open 24-7. Just go there. Well, also, if you're going to Waffle House, it's because there's not an IHOP or Denny's around. I've been to a Waffle House a few times, and that's pretty much because it's been... 3 a.m. I was hungry and there's nothing else. Some open. of the waitresses can look all right until they open their mouth. Then their teeth is like, oh, yeah. Ah! It's terrible. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like they were hockey players or something like that. Hockey players from England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so. Rough. Mm-hmm. Rough, rough, rough. Anyways. So uh, you want to get started? Well, I mean, we could. We could also talk about and I know that we're fa- the camera is facing the the earth now and you can the see the earth. the terrain that me and Andrew Technically this is all the earth, right? Well, we're not we're inside the earth, but now we're you can We're inside s- the earth. We're inside the earth and now people can see outside towards the beautiful landscape that we have here in Houston, Texas. But It's not beautiful. Minutes before, well, oh. the it looks nasty now, but the terrain looks beautiful. It's populated with lots of Anyways, minutes before me and Andrew started recording, there's this fucking giant ass hawk that flew right through right damn near the building and you could see that a fu- he had fucking mouse in his claws it was amazing fucking me so um amazing josh is on some sort of psychedelics <laughs> no psychedelics because i was right here i saw no hawk there was it, no was, hawk. it was a hawk big ass mouth Big ass mouth. Big, big ass, ass mouse. Mouth. Big, big ass, ass mouth. mouse. Oh, that fucking mouth. I'm sure, well, hawks, you know, they got the pointy mouth or beak. Also, before we started recording, you told me that uh, you started watching Glow on Netflix. Oh, my God. Yes. Started and that watching Allison Glow. Allison Brie shows yeah. her boobs. Yeah. Which means uh, I'm going to have to check out the show. I did not know that you're an Andrew, Andrew, an Andrew. Al- Allison Bree Mark. I did not know that. So it's I'm learning new things about you today, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cause she's but she's good looking. I mean, she's I. She's, she's fine. She's not I. She's pretty good looking. Out of, out of community, uh, the community cast. Mm-hmm. You had uh, Allison Bree and Julian. Um, yeah. Uh whatever. We know what you're talking about. I, I like Allison, Ju- I like Julian better. No, Allison's hot. I am I'm a I'm a blonde guy. I like blondes. I'm talking about the face. Yeah, I thought she was cuter. <clears throat> so if Allison Bree was blonde and Julian was brunette, you'd be on Allison then? Probably probably Julian still. I like Julian. I thought she was cute. Yeah, Julian cute Jacobs? Too. Is that what it was? Maybe. Maybe. I don't Something like that. Yeah. Anyways, we don't have to talk about that. We don't but, have to talk about community, that underwhelming show. I never saw the final season. I still want to. I, I thought I, I, I thought Community did I fine. I watched the first two seasons, I think, and then after that, I was, maybe some of three. Really? We got to go back. There's like six. No, I don't. I, I, I stopped because I got tired of it. Why? Okay. Well, we'll have plenty of time to talk about NXT. It wasn't but tell funny. me, tell, what was not funny? I liked it. I just didn't like it. Okay, here's what I didn't like. I like Joel... Was the main character? Well, mm-hmm. I don't know his name in the show. Joel Mickey. Uh, oh yeah, long. yeah, yeah. But uh, um, his whole character is I'm just here to take advice. Like, I, I I wanted him to embrace the villain side of him, but uh, it's like every episode he's a dick to everyone, no. and then by the end of the episode he's like I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's always the struggle with good and bad. I didn't care about 
the uh, the old black lady. She was annoying. Mm-hmm. Most of the characters were annoying too. That was the thing. You didn't like Pierce Chevy Chase? Yeah, I like Chevy Chase, but after he was only there to like season, he left by like season three or whatever, right? I think they finally killed. No, they killed him off in like season five. Season five. Oddly enough, Mike takes over. Mike from Breaking Bad. That's right. Yeah, I heard, Mike yeah. takes over. I as wasn't the watching old, then, but I, I saw curmudgeon. that he was on there. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Mo- I don't know. But different spin. Dan Harmon, who did that show, I'm now starting to watch Rick and Morty. I've never seen it before. Uh-huh. And I keep hearing so many great things about Rick and Morty. And I saw that Dan Harmon is also the executive producer so you watched Rick of and that. Morty? So now I'm watching Rick and Morty. Have you ever seen that? No. How is it? It's It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I'm looking for a new a new good cartoon. I like Archer. I never liked Family Guy. I don't like any of the other Family Guy spinoffs, American Dad or or uh, what was the other one with the, the black Cleveland guy? Show. The Cleveland Show. Did not like the Cleveland hey, Show. Nothing. Oh God. No. Hey, no. Hey, I will leave if you continue doing that voice. Why? No. Oh God. No. No. Why does it creep you out? Yes. It's awful. I hate Joel, Joe. What the fuck is his name? The Seth MacFarlane. I hate Seth MacFarlane. He's awful. He is an American villain. Whatever. He's destroying America's youth. <laughs> through stupid. stupid fucking cartoons. Awful. Seth MacFarlane. And you watch Total Divas and Total Bella, so shut the fuck oh up. Oh my Josh. God, that is such a great show. Although I'm so behind on TV yet, I've yet to get to this season. But I will, and when I do, we this will report on what? it. This, there's no season right now. Well, no, the, the latest season where I left off. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, let's get started with NXT. I guess. We can continue walking about TV for hours and hours and hours. But Well, technically this is TV, right? It is. So, uh, so to start off the show, we have Peyton Royce versus the return of Ember Moon. And uh, Ember's ha- she has her red contacts back in, so you know she's for real this time. For now movies. she's serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Ember gets ready for the eclipse, but Billy Kay pulls her lover out of the ring. So Ember dives on Billy Kay again. It's like every time I see them, they're act- they're they're acting like extra lesbiany. <laughs> but was it just me? It seemed like they were all over each other this week. I know I say this every time. I think but it they was were like just really you. just all over each other. I think it was just you. I, maybe it's because it's the same stuff they do all the time. So you don't think their characters are lesbians? No, they're, they're characters. I just think they're really they're, acting like they're lesbians. I just think they're 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 mean girls, of course, mm-hmm. but they're done up by like a hundred percent. But they hold hands. They're very. They touch each other very sexually. <laughs> don't do that. I don't fucking do that. It's annoying enough when they do it, and then you have to do it. <laughs> That's terrible. Josh. It's ter- it is terrible. Yeah. So tell Wait, me this. You don't like that either? No, I thought it was. I I enjoy them. I think it's you cute. Said it's terrible. No, 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 no. You doing it's terrible. That's what you. Mean. I doing it is terrible. I doing it. Me doing it is terrible. You doing it? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty terrible. But no, I think they're cute. I I love them. The iconic duo. I think that's hilarious. Okay. If I ever bought a wrestling shirt, aside from the KO show, it would probably be the iconic duo. Would be you idiot! <laughs> you fucking dummy. What? I think it's awesome. <laughs> I'm a supporter. I want to support that brand. Okay. Like if if I'm buying stock in the Titus brand, uh-huh. I'm dumping that stock. I'm buying iconic duo stock. Okay, sure. Stock up, stock down. What what is this around the horn? <laughs> if so, I'll mute your mic. Sure. <sighs> but tell tell me this. At any point, did you think that Ember Moon was going to lose? No. Wow. Of course not. I thought she was. Why? Why would she lose? <laughs> because I thought when they when they knocked when uh, Billy Kay knocked her off the top rope, mm-hmm. Ember Moon, I was like, oh my god, this is how they're going to, you know, kind of restart that feud again and get the iconic duo more over by burying Ember Moon. No, Ember Moon's gonna be you know she's gonna be fighting Os- how many times do i have to tell you this i, have I don't to repeat want the same happen. fucking thing every time josh i don't want it to happen every week i have to tell you what's gonna maybe, happen maybe it's because i'm just so anti ember moon and oscar i don't i like them apart i don't like them fighting together you don't like them touching i don't tips? want them fighting together i want them to be apart if that makes sense 
Why? I, I don't know. I, I for some I don't think it's gonna be a good match. But if they're the two best, they should fight each other. They I enjoy to... I enjoy Nikki Cross and Oscar a hell of a lot more than I do Ember Moon and Oscar. Well, sure, that's because they fucking went through a table last week. But you know, even before then, I, I enjoyed the the Fatal Three Way and the Fatal Four Way, and that was mainly the Fatal Three Way. <laughs> fatal Three Way. <laughs> what is it called? A threesome. Threesome. Yeah. I enjoyed the threesome. Triple threat. Triple threat. Duh. Shit. So yeah, Ember wins. She hits the eclipse on Peyton, and uh, that's it. She sold the shit out of him. Yeah, it was good. Not as not as much as Billy Kay sold it a couple months ago when she, uh, when <laughs> broke, she broke her was, neck. She was paralyzed. <laughs> and then remember, she had to learn to walk again. And, uh, <laughs> that would have been funny though. That would have been funny. I th- I feel like I couldn't hear, and I didn't I didn't rewind it to listen, but I could have heard. I could have swore when the first time Oscar Oscar Amber Moon was going up to the top rope to do it, and Billy Kay was on the outside. She goes, "No, you can't do that move. It's banned or whatever." Oh, really? Something like that on the that. outside. Something crazy like that, and it made me chuckle. Yeah, it made me chuckle. Uh, so then we go backstage, and Hideo Itami apologizes to Cassius Ono. Why? Uh, that didn't make you chuckle. That no, that Hideo, made me. Huh? What? Hideo, you can't even understand what he's saying. Unfortunately, so that made me his chuckle. His English is so bad; like his accent's really bad. You can't even understand what he's saying. It's rough, but the the more rough like he, he needs to talk slower. Like Nakamura talks Probably. slow. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why Nakamura talks slow. It's so you can understand him. Yeah, I agree. Let's talk slow. Give him less lines. Yeah. But the worst part about that scene was was not Hideo Itami. It was Cassius Ono. It was, it was all just bad. It was. But Cassius Ono was awful. He was like, look, it's all right, man. We're still great. You're still great. I'm still great. And I'm going to go beat Aleister Black tonight. Not only that, <clears throat> the Chicago Bulls jersey. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different fucking jersey every time. <laughs> I want to know how many he has. Uh, he's, done, he's done an all-star one. He's done an Orlando Magic one. Their Orlando Magic was the worst <laughs> that one. That was the worst. It looked like he was just wearing PJs. <laughs> It was bad. I can't wait for the for the New York Knicks version or the the I can fucking Lakers jersey. Yeah. Uh so next up we have the Ely brothers finally what? in a match. I told you they're coming back. Wow. And they look different. No cape. They had the capes. They did? Yes. No. They took them off at the ramp. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. They had the capes. Mm. They did have the capes. Now, before we get into the match, I just want to say, I kind of hope they never really get a push because I, I really, if I have a hard time with Akam and Razor telling who is a, who is different, I'm never gonna have a chance between these guys. Well, that means you. So you don't like the Usos either? No, they're twins. No. So fuck twins. Fuck twins. We're burying twins on this podcast. Okay. I mean, Barry look, twins. The Usos do suck. Not because they're twins, though. It's just because. Well, the gimmick sucks. I didn't mind them as faces. Well, yeah, but they were also boring faces, too. They were, but they were more enjoyable than the thug. Now they just look like. Sarah? Now they just both look like Roman Reigns. They look huh. like their cousin. Part of his posse. Yeah. They God, that's what they should just do. Have Roman have a stable with. It's them. an inter inter. Uh, Inter, I was going to say intergender, but it's not Jesus. intergender. What is wrong with you? It's inter, inter transfacial, company. intergender. It's it. No, it's it's trans, no. trans brand, no. trans brand. No, no. shut up. <laughs> so, anyways, the Ely brothers, right? The Ely brothers. They are not trans. Uh, they're they face uh, Eric Young and Alexander Wolf. And of course, Sanity gets the win after hitting a tag team finisher. But again, I'm going to be wrong. But going into this, I thought this is where the Ely brothers were finally going to get not, a push. Not against Sanity, no. Well, I figured that they're now trying to build this tag team division, right? Mm-hmm. They have to fucking have more tag teams in the well, looks Authors like, of Pain and Heavy it looks Machinery. Like Young and Wolf are going to be a tag team. I guess. Why else have this match, right? Also, I thought that I thought it was going to be a win because Damo wasn't in it, and I thought Damo was. The number two in sanity. I'm glad Damo wasn't there because I don't want to look at that naked, hairy. I mean, I mean, I agree with you, man. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Put clothes on the fucking guy. Mm-hmm. You see Bray Wyatt walking around without a shirt? No. no. 
The only reason they let Samoa Joe do it in on Raw is because he doesn't have any hair. He shaves it. Yeah. That's the thing. Is 99% of the wrestlers shave their body hair. And wh- why doesn't Dama? Why does he get away with it? You know? Must be something Irish. On the Ulster plantation. Yeah, Ulster. Ulster, I think. Ulster. No. U- Ulster? <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have Rachel Evers, who is... Who is she? You forgot? I feel like I rem- No. You forgot. I forgot. We talked about this before. Uh-oh. She's the daughter of... No, Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering. That's right. And the Book of Pain. They have to change her name because it would be... Because if they call their Rachel Ellering and it's like, wait, that's then they'd have to acknowledge that's Paul Ellering's daughter. And then yeah. she'd have to be a part of the Authors of Pain or whatever. But. but they have mentioned it before when she's been out in past. But I guess now since they might be starting to push her. I don't think they've mentioned it before. No. I could have swore they mentioned that they have that they were related. That this was Paul Ellering, a no. WWE Hall of Famer's no, 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 daughter. Because no, no, no. she was on the show once before and then... And then we had to, like, like we found out that she was. They didn't tell us that. Hmm. Hmm. It's My memory's important. not great, but I'll, I'll, tr- I'll defer to your memory. Okay. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, but her name is Rachel Evers here. Mm-hmm. And then she's fighting Sonya Deville, a.k.a. Daria. <laughs> and they, they, they say, like, she's the, the intro as if she's brand new. The intro as if she's brand new. Did you realize that? <sighs> like she just like as if she just started like a month ago. Well, she also got a video package right before the fucking match. Yeah. Well, then the video package they played last week is like old highlights of her when she was Daria. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, no, yes. she's not brand new. She used to be Daria. Mm-hmm. And and the gimmick's exactly the same. Yeah, right. It's just the name's different. But okay, she's got Sonia Deville. Which, I mean, again, every time I see Sonya, it just makes it... You know they were thinking of Mortal Kombat when they fucking named her. Stock down. Sonya Blade. No. Uh, so Sonya makes Rachel tap out to a double wrist lock. That's what Nigel McGinnis called it. It, it just looked like uh, Lesnar's Kimura lock. That's what I was about to say. You it's know? a fucking Kimura. Yeah. Why can't they call it a Kimura? Because that's Lesnar's move. Oh, the Lesnar doesn't even do it anymore. But, but you know not... why? Because Lesnar only does two moves now. Yeah, he does. He does less moves than Roman Reigns. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, they do other MMA moves. Like, oh, that's a triangle. It's it's a triangle when they put that on. Yeah. It's it's a choke sleeper hold. It's a sleeper hold, whatever. Yeah. Why can't they say Kimura? Oh, it's Hell's Gate. Oh, wait, that's the Undertaker's name for his <laughs> That triangle. actually is a triangle. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, hey, I, I like this finisher better than the one she did a couple weeks ago, which is another... The knee. And then kick, like mm-hmm. another sweet chin music. It's like, no, what the fuck? Like, everyone does sweet chin music now? Um. So, yeah, I mean, Nakamura does it. Ziggler, Ziggler just does sweet chin music. Yeah. It is Sweet Chin music. That's fine. Nakamura does a version of Sweet Chin music. Drew McIntyre does a version of Sweet Chin music. You know, and no. I'm glad Sony is now doing a submission hold. I think they listen to, like, it's like one of those things where it's like, maybe they do listen to the podcast. Because yeah. when she did it, like, a few weeks ago, we were like, why doesn't she have a submission move or do some MMA combo, you know? We've also been complaining about the Ely brothers of late. <laughs> where have they been? Have we, They though? come out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we've talked about the Ely brothers. Um, I guess you just have to go to NXT House Show if you want to see them. Yeah. Uh, so then... Um, we go to earlier today, and this is the thing that fooled a lot of people, including my brother Joe. Yeah, I heard that on the. <laughs> yeah, he broke that on the podcast. I can't believe Joe thought that was real. <laughs> Some, Who is he, Josh? Seriously. <laughs> um, you know, because there was a tweet that Rude and Strong got into a fight backstage, mm-hmm. and I told, I was like, why would WWE tweet that out? If why it would was they real? promote that? <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, so then we watch the footage, and Bobby Roode is doing a photo shoot when Roderick Strong and his wife walk by with their new baby boy, and Bobby tells Roderick's wife, hey, whenever you feel like being with a real man, let me know. So Strong attacks Bobby, but they're quickly separated by other wrestlers. And then we are told that in two weeks, Bobby Roode will defend the NXT Championship against Roderick Strong. 
See, my thing is, wasn't Bobby Roode shitting on the attractiveness of Rod of Roddy Strong's yeah, he said wife? Marginally attractive wife. Why the hell would he want her? Because he's a bad guy. Maybe you know. Maybe, maybe he thinks like that he's Ti- going to elevate. Maybe her? he's like Tiger Woods. He just wants to fuck everything that moves. <laughs> that's that's what he should bring. You know what? You're my no, but Bobby Waffle Ruth, House Bobby Ruth's sweetheart. character. Bobby Roode's character is an egocentric person like he thinks he's the greatest person ever yeah. so he's just gonna assume that of course roderick strong's wife would be better off banging him like and, you know what i mean like and she probably would be <laughs> <laughs> yeah well man. i mean one guy's gonna go to the main roster a lot quicker and Bobby make Root a has, lot more money Bobby has one flaw <laughs> and that's the gap in his in his teeth i never noticed that yeah it's <sighs> very strong it's very small it's not stray hands gap we're like Straight hand, you could fit a whole other tooth up there. <laughs> That's rude, awful. Rude, you could fit like a fourth of a tooth. A fourth you know? of a tooth. Yeah. Straight hand, you could put like, a, I think, two front teeth. In it just means that, that Bobby Roode is going to be amazing at whistling. Mm-hmm. But he should just, he should get it fixed. Especially when you're the glory, like you're this, you know, you kind of look like the perfect guy, right? Like yeah. that's his gimmick. You you know, he looks like a champion. He look like he has, he has the look. Like, if anything, like, that's, like, Bobby Roode has, like, the look of, like, the perfect champion. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So. He is amazing. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, they're going to fight in two weeks. And, and of course, who who are you picking? Roger Strong. Of course you are. Of course. You're not really picking Roderick Strong. Okay, thank you. That's only for Oscar matches. (laughs) Okay. So, Nikki Cross is going to win next week? I do believe she will. Come on, she had Andrew. Oscar has already How many lunches reached- are you gonna owe me after this one? You've owed me a none, lunch for what a year none now? None because as soon as I win, it all gets wiped off. No, you still owe me a lunch. It's been like six months. I think I do still owe you lunch. I think it's more than six months, actually. Anyways, now next up we have the main event: Cassius Ono versus Alistair Black. This was like halfway into the show, by the way. Yeah. This match was like twenty fucking minutes long. Um, no, it was pretty slow. <laughs> so it started slow. It started me. weird. It got it got a lot better though. The first like few the minutes, they were all minutes. just being super <laughs> respectful to each other, and it's like just fucking fight already, you know? Right? Yeah, lots um, of head head holds, and I think it was both of their best matches in NXT. Yeah, at least since probably. Ono's return, probably you know, best for Black and. Um, but yeah, hey, to the fan that kept yelling, finish him, shut the fuck up. Did you hear that? 20, <laughs> I, like 20 times, finish him! That fucking fan. They should have got rid of him. I didn't hear that. Thank God. Yeah. So, uh, there were some cool spots, though, and back and forth moments. Uh, at one point, Ono yelled at Alistair Black. Okay, you caught that? What are you, man? Good or evil? <laughs> what? What? Well, what he meant to say is, are you a face or are you a heel? Yeah, is that what he meant? <laughs> that was dumb. That way I can know if I'm supposed to go over or not. That was so dumb. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> like Josh Reese, Cassius Ono is his own worst enemy. To be fair, we don't know if he's good or bad. <laughs> he's good. He's clearly a good guy. You sure? Yes. That's the first. This is the but first, he didn't respond and this say he was a good guy. This is the first good guy that he's fought. So we had a face versus face match? Yeah. One of the rare face face matches? Yes. Or is it the heel heel match that, that you don't get much no, of? No, heel heel is extremely rare. Face face is not rare? It's rare, but it's not as rare. Mm. You can do it. Like Cena Rock, even though that's like the, the match no one wanted to see. Or maybe, maybe they wanted to see it once. Definitely not twice. I don't, <laughs> don't, don't get me started on that. Or three times? Wasn't it three times? No, it was twice. Oh, it was twice? Yeah. Twice in a lifetime. Because <laughs> it was billed as once in a lifetime. It was billed as once in a lifetime, and then they did it again. Asshole. <laughs> Assholes. They're cocky guys. They named a pay-per-view Great Balls of Fire, Andrew. They did. They did. Oh, God. Anyway, so Alistair Black got the victory after hitting Black Mass. It was and, kind of uh, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? No, because I think they... I, I, I think they were writing it as either 
it was so close of a match that either one of them could have won. Either the blast, black mass was going to connect or he was going to miss and well, fucking Ono was going to hit him with the elbow Cassius and it's going to over. Cassius Ono hit, a bro, hit him with a brogue kick, like a Seamus brogue mm-hmm. kick, <laughs> and he kicked out of it. By the way, I will say this. Um, when Aleister Black kicked him, he fell on him immediately, and Cassius's left arm was like on his body and Alistair Black laid on top of his arm and his shoulder was up. Yeah. So they fucked that up. You think his shoulder was up from the beginning of the count and the ref's right there. One, two, looking right at the shoulder. That's clearly up. So interesting. Maybe next week they'll come back and be like, they won't. I really didn't lose. (laughs) They won't acknowledge it. (laughs) Like they did with uh, Alicia Fox. They won't. Do you think that there was a a botch in the, in the, uh, in the match? Uh, early in the match, when uh, when he did the um, what is it, the jump up and the, is it the senton, and he lands on him after he jumps up, but this this time like he did it with like his neck, like he landed on his neck instead of his back. Who? Cassius Ono onto black onto black. He landed on his neck. Yeah, like oh. he was going back and instead of landing on his back on the guy, mm-hmm. he landed on his neck. I don't know. I, eh, it was something I noticed. It looked like it was, I don't know, worse in real life. The one I saw, did he do more than one senton bomb? Because the one I saw, he just fucking landed on the guy. Maybe he, he did more than on one. Black. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was decent. I didn't think it was great. I thought it was pretty fucking slow. But I thought towards the towards the, like, the last five minutes of the match, it started to pick up and got a little more entertaining. Yeah. All right, so who's your worst dress for NXT? Cassius Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Awful! Yeah, I like it. Best dressed? Billy Kay. Of course, you're gonna say Billy Kay. Billy Kay. Of course. Those pants. Damn. And who am I gonna say? You're probably going to say Eric Young. Eric Young. There you go. Oh yeah, with no clothes on. <laughs> Fucking idiot. No, I got the other one. The hotter Sonya one. Sonya Deville? Peyton Royce. Oh. Yeah, Sonya Deville, you idiot. <laughs> Worst moment? The backstage segment between Ono and Hideo? Yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. Best? Best moment? I, I'm a sucker for that that crazy move that Cassius Ono does where he, like, Half his head goes through the ropes and the other part of his body flips over it. Uh-huh. I think that's fucking amazing for someone to do it his fucking size. You know, worst moment could also be was when Cassius Ono tried to pin Alistair Black in like a fuck it, it was like the gayest pin attempt ever. Oh, when he stacked him up? Like he put his leg straight over and then he just put his cock yeah. right on Alistair Black's mm-hmm. cock. And it was like, what the fuck, man? Like it's- Touching tips. Touching tips. <laughs> like, I would expect uh, the Velveteen Dream to do that shit. Don't give him ideas. Yeah. That's going to be his finisher. But, you know, my, my favorite moment was was Rude and Strong, the backstage segment. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of worried that they're going to continue this. Not not feud, but they're going to find ways to bring his family into it. And I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to see that. They already did. But continue to bring that. Like, she's going to be sitting front row. With the baby. Or with the baby or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Breastfeed. With, like, a fake baby. Like, a fake baby. Bobby Roos going to take it. I'm stealing your baby. I'm going to raise him in Canada. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. And then he does a video in his mansion. He's got the baby. And they're watching his, raising, his match. Raising strong son, right. That's what I want. I want to see more videos of Bobby Roos in his mansion. <laughs> you know, that was funny. When he was watching... When he was watching him beat Nakamura like mm-hmm. while drinking wine or whatever, <laughs> that was funny as shit. Do you think those are filmed at uh, Vince's house? No. Because I will say, I-, I have listened to Pritchard's podcast before, and he's mentioned that they've done like a lot of that shit at Vince's house. Really? Yeah. Not like the NXT stuff, but like yeah. whenever they need a mansion or something like uh-huh. that, they were just filming at, at Vince's house. Oh, like really? they said, uh, they did Randy Savage's... Um, uh, oh, well, uh, Ah, Jesus! I can't think of it. One of his videos? No, but like Life of the Rich and Famous, Randy Savage and um and um the Million Dollar Man, both their segments were both taped at Vince's house. Well, it's cheaper than right renting a location, right? Yeah. 
I'm just saying. Yeah. I kind of wonder if that's their like go to for mansion. Oh, I, just I go to Vince's say. house. He's gone for the weekend. All right. So uh, oh, sorry, that was random. It was. Sorry. It was random. My, my bad. My bad. You know, www it, it, universe. It is your bad. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, so now let's get to things we talk about. And oh boy, do we have a doozy. Oh? Mm? Well, you know what I'm going to say. Come on. What's the top story? Guess who's back? Back again. Morrow's back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mama Mia! But it's great news. Yeah? Because Tom Phillips will be off. And it's ex explicitly just NXT only. Yeah. And so NXT Mara Ronaldo's returning. He's joining the NXT broadcast team. Tom Phillips will be gone. I guess it'll be him, Nigel, and, and Percy Watson, but they should probably get rid of Percy Watson, too. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I don't like to fire people, but when you're that bad at your job, when you're just god awful, um, will he say Mama Me on NXT? Yes. He will? Of course. Yeah. Do you think that was a you think that's a main roster only tagline? <laughs> because it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Triple H will be like play it more straight. Cuz since NXT, NXT's Triple H's thing, maybe he'll tell him play it more straight. If Ronaldo would just play it straight, then I'd be all up on Ronaldo. Like I'd be like he's great. But but when he does those fucking pop culture references and you know what I mean? Now look, he could do it because then we'd be playing more audio on the, on this podcast because I'll have <laughs> I'll have a stupid pop culture reference to play every week. Uh, I'm sure he'll think of some. That's why I was kind of excited when Booker T returned to Raw. He's <laughs> like, oh, I'll have more audio to play. But he's not even like he's not embarrassing himself anymore. He's doing a good job. <laughs> I just can't wait for the moment when Mario or not Mario. Mauro Ronaldo. Oh, that that's another thing. Now that Mauro Ronaldo's here, I'll say Mario. You're a gonna lot be more. saying Mario a lot more, yeah. I can't wait for the match for an amazing match at a takeover to happen. And Ronaldo goes, This match was more on fire than when Chuck burnt down his own house. <laughs> wow. Spoiler alert. Don't even say the show. Don't even say the show. People have already seen it, I'm sure. It's a week over. We didn't even get to that part yet. That they don't was... know what I'm talking about. Huh? They don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. But I can't wait for that reference. <laughs> this, this match was more on fire than those great balls. <laughs> uh, also, uh, an ex Ring of Honor star made his NXT debut on Friday, but... I won't say who it is in case people don't want spoilers because it will be on a future episode of NXT. But people don't, a lot of people don't want spoilers. So some people don't. Oh, well, shit. I just, out. I fucked that up for y'all. My bad. I will say, I, will, I won't mention, I meant the, what we spoiled a minute ago. Well, I'm just about talking Chuck's about house. NXT. Oh, okay. We can spoil other things. ET did go home. He okay. did. All right. My mom recently told me that that was <laughs> that, what? that was the first movie that I ever cried at was an ET movie. <laughs> I was you like, cried? really? I didn't know this. She's how like, old were you? I don't know. I'm however old people are normally when they went to ET, no. seven, eight, or something like that. Uh, you're such a bitch. You didn't cry. You didn't cry during ET. No. When they were trying to escape, escape uh, all the people that are trying to grab them. No. But he did end up going home. Poor guy. Poor guy. So sad. He wanted to go home. I know, but he no. created such a such such great friends. Right. Anyway, so I digress. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about spoilers. Oh yeah. So you know the the name of this guy, right? Did Did you see the name of this yeah. guy? Did, I, I I've never seen any of his work before. Neither. I don't know. But who. do you think that 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 name is like? Do you think that means he's like? An Italian mobster? What? What? Think of the name. Think of the name. I am. And then think of guys that were on The Sopranos. Uh-huh. And then you, you don't think Italian no. mobster? No. Okay. That was the first thing that came to mind. Interesting. All okay. Right. What else do you want to talk about? Okay. Andrew's going to roll through that one. 
Uh, things we talk about. I didn't really find that many things that we could talk about today, but I will uh, mention this. The UK championship match will be defended. The match will be defended? They're going... To, okay, hold on. Let me let me re redo my train of thought. UK championship match will happen July 29th. Oh, where can I see it? At ICW Wrestling. Not at WWE Wrestling. At well, this ICW. is in London, right? Or something? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I don't understand. And it's called Insane Championship Wrestling. I don't understand how the WWE is letting... The letting a belt de be defended on non WWE TV. They're having some, they have like a partnership agreement with these people. That's what they're. That's what they're doing with this UK tournament. That's what they're going to be doing with, like when they have like whenever they do the Latin America tournament. They're and then you know what I mean. That it's going to be like that. They're trying to take over the world. I agree, but I mean, like I, you and would never, will. you would never see like Brock Lesnar defending. Well, on not. Ring of Honor or whatever. Of course not. They they own the U.S. I mean, when you know what I mean. But I mean, they were just recently in Japan with Brock Lesnar a while back. Okay. And that was a WWE show, though. Yeah, I'm just saying. What? Why? Why can you do it with the UK Championship and not with other stuff? Because eventually they'll buy that fucking IWC. Or they'll start their own promotion. You know what I mean? When it becomes big enough. I guess. I just thought that was really interesting. Because I was like, what? Why Why is that happening? Yeah. But I mean, I could understand, like, you know, back in the day, like old school wrestling. But I've been hearing stories about, you know, the, the, the champ at, like, for NWA would go around town to town to town defending the, uh -huh. the championship on different promotions and stuff like that. But it, it you just don't see it here anymore because the WWE is everything right so why is it not be defended on wwe they tv they're not having a and will this match be available to wwe describers describers subscribers Descri i talk too quickly Sus andrew subscribers 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 Sub subscribers sub subscript subscription right. that's enough, that's enough. I, I, how many do i have to explain it again Will it understand? be available to subscription ease? I don't know. I, how can I answer that que question? Well, this is the question. I'm, I'm putting it out there to the universe. These are the things that I want to know. I say know. no. Okay. What if I wanted to watch this fucking match? Be go to defended. London, motherfucker. I don't want to go to London. Well, I want to see it bad. on TV. That's too bad. No, you don't. You don't want to see it. You, you know you I don't. do. I enjoyed their Who last. Who is he fighting? Uh, it, it hasn't been decided no. yet. They're going to have a fatal four-way to decide the contender. And it doesn't look like. Uh, oh no! Maybe Bates this is going to be in it. Maybe it'll be on the UK show. Remember, they're making they're making a UK show. Maybe, but it said that the match was going to happen at ICW. Okay, I don't know, Josh. I don't know. I'm just bringing you. the news, Andrew. Okay, These are else? things that we fucking talk about. Okay, what else? Jeez, what else? Anything else? Crackers. Um, recently, uh, they mentioned on uh, Pritchard's podcast. Oh yeah, did they? They did that. This, I guess, is the twenty second. 22nd anniversary of uh, that might be too much. This is an anniversary of John Cena's uh, debut. 22nd anniversary? <laughs> it probably wasn't. Maybe it's the, f I think it was the 15th, 15th. year. 15th. 15th. There 15th. you go. Tell me some of your favorite John Cena memories. Fuck you. Don't fuck with me. What? My favorite John Cena. You memories. don't have any favorite mem memories no, of John Cena? No, when he was number 30 in the Rumble, that was the best one. Is, is that the one where. Where Vince McMahon came out? No. Okay. No. He was number 30, and then he AA'd Triple H out of the ring to win the Rumble. Mm -hmm. That was it. His debut was cool, too, but come on. There wasn't that many great John Cena moments. I just, I, I, John Cena, of course, is one of my favorite wrestlers. Okay, so what's your favorite John Cena moment? Well, I don't have his, oh, you know I don't have his when many. When he lost to KO, that was great. When he That was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. The match with that he lost Alberto Del Rio, I think, was one of the greatest matches of all time. That was terrible it was match. Amazing. That was a terrible. Amazing. Oh, he lost to like such a lame move too. Great. Um, Great. What else? Oh yeah. Um, I gotta pull it up on my phone because I don't oh, have any internet connection. Oh good. Oh, Donald Trump just tweeted something. What did he say? Well, who gives a Sorry. shit? Sorry, I get Donald Trump tweets pushed to my phone. I don't care. Um, 
Oh yeah. So there's a lot of different uh, polls that we could take today. Um, so give me some polls that you want to take. Let's see if we can read through them real quick. We have which general manager did a better job handling their brand's controversy. Of course, there's only two options on that. What's the controversy? Okay. Uh, the controversy is raw general manager, Kurt Angle helping to get to the bottom. He did a terrible job. Okay. It was all Corey Graves. Well, then it's automatically must be general manager SmackDown of Daniel Bryan making another woman's money in the make bank ladder match and banning James Ellsworth from ringside. Oh, they both did terrible jobs. That's one of the questions. They can't even answer that. They both failed. Uh, Another one is... If you were drafting a roster of WWE superstars, who would you pick first? Which seven-foot superstar or near seven-footer should Enzo Amore replace Big Cass with? Was Carmella treated unjustly? Yes. Who... Would you like to see perform their finishing move on James Ellsworth? And Why are there so many polls? Enough. And finally, and finally, which WWE superstars tattoo would you get on your body? What? What? <laughs> uh, do Enzo's? I gotta get it. Okay, here we go. Uh, which? Okay, seven footer. So the answers are. Big Show, Kane, The Great Khali, and <laughs> Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash? I guess Kevin Nash, just so that Kevin Nash can return and do something, I guess. But I don't know if Kevin Nash is, can even wrestle anymore. So the overwhelming favorite is Kane. The Big Show, 49%. That's stupid. He already did it. Followed. It probably will be Big Show. Probably. Because you hear the rumor that it's going to be Big Show and Big Cass at SummerSlam? I wouldn't mind it. Number two is the great Khali. People want to see him return. Wow. I guess join the stable. They really don't want to see him return. Uh, okay. And then Khali does the soft chant. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard him talk before. He doesn't talk good. He doesn't talk. Does wow. he talk English or did he always have that little guy speak for him? He Barely, no, he really doesn't speak English. Like, at all. Oh, poor guy. Um, There was Kinda one like more... Th- th- oh, go ahead. What? Go ahead. No, I'm good. No, you were going to say something? No. What? Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, Well, there. Uh, the WWE also announced uh, five more names to the Mae Young Classic. All right. Third generation wrestler Tessa Blanchard. Uh, well, if you don't know who they are, then... Well, I'm just naming them. Maybe people... Uh, one is a great Kali pr- uh, protege. Uh, third generation... Re- he can't teach anyone how to wrestle. Let He's the... Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> You're disgusting. It's my straw. Okay. Oh, you put it back in your mouth. You're such a nasty it's my person. Straw. Mr. Cool over here. <laughs> 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 Fucking Mick Foley spitting his teeth out. Uh, okay, where was I? Third generation wrestler, Tessa Blanchard, hard hitting veteran, whatever that means. Abby <laughs> taught someone how to wrestle. The worst wrestler of all time. Abby, of all time. Abby Lath, uh, black belt Judica, Tiana Conti, international bruiser Jazzy Gabbert, and. Great Khali protege, Kat, Katvia Davi. He has a school in India, I think, but mm-hmm. he doesn't teach them how to wrestle because he's the worst wrestler ever. Who I mean, it's them? insulting that he could teach anyone. How, he obviously hired some fucking trainers. Well, I kind of want to see who this chick is. Kat, Katvia Davers? Yeah, great. Davi. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. You probably pronounced every letter wrong. Probably. I don't know. She's, she's not that bad. What, looking? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's because I like Indian women. Let me see. Hold on, okay, hold on. Let me pull it up. Go. Go. 
Uh, oh, she kind of looks like the great Kali. She yeah. does not. Yeah, that's cool. No wonder you like her. Well, of course. She looks like Tamina. Of course you no, like her. No, she does not. She does look like Tamina. No. That's Tamina right there. It's much more beautiful. Um, Maybe a little bit better than Tamina, but that's Tamina. Is that all you got, Josh? Because I'm getting annoyed. Are we Are we good? Uh, oh, that's all I got. Can we get to fan questions? She's apparently a weight. Yep, that makes sense why you like her. She's got big muscles. You like I Nikki guess. Cross. Nikki Cross has huge I've never arms. dated a woman Nikki with, Cross with is big like, muscles. Brr. I've always wondered what that would be like. I don't know. Random. Have you ever dated a woman with big muscles? No. No? It's all all short Latinas, huh? You've met my fiance. That's and you're just gonna assume that that's all the chicks I've ever dated. It was Latinas, maybe. No, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um. No, I've dated other girls. No, but my uh, longest relationships have been with two Latinas. Yeah. Mm. At the same time. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um. All right. You wish. Uh, let's see. Let's get to some fan questions here. Uh, this for one is from Kayla Bunton. If you could have two wrestlers swap personas for an episode, who would it be? Just NXT? Uh, no, it doesn't have to be NXT. Joe responded to her. Of course he did. Uh, he said, Bobby Roode and Nakamura. Really? Have yeah. them swap personas? Yeah. Um, you know what? I'd love to see, like, like the different contrast. Like, what would Sami Zayn be able to do with Kevin Owens' gimmick? And what would Kevin Owens be able to do with Sami Zayn's gimmick? No fucking what? way. <laughs> do think- I do not want to see Kevin Owens dancing <laughs> around with that fucking music. Do you- but do you think that he can make it cool? That. Or do you think that Sami Zayn would make Kevin Owens' gimmick stupid? Like, I would love to see, like, a freaky... F- like, if the WWE did something fun like that, I would love it. Like, a Freaky Friday edition. Like, oh my god, everyone changed. I think that would be so cool. Oh God! Do you do you think that that no? So you think that terrible. It would be awful. It'd be awful. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm thinking of it now. I think that would be fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. My well, God. that's my answer. I'd love to see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. That's Zane terrible. Switch. It'd be terrible though. Just for a day. Well, who, who do you got, Andrew? I don't know. I'm trying to think of that. If I'll there's anybody that. out there in the www with that universe. Shit. Let me know if we you don't have agree a universe. We do. No, we don't. 5,000 people strong. Okay. Campy Corleone, does Josh have on his Pokemon shirt? No, he has a stupid Mr. Cool Icy shirt. Are you a Cherry Icy or a Coca-Cola Icy person? I mean, if I had to choose, I'd go Coca-Cola. I like the, You're white, wrong! I like the white Icy's the best. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'm really not a much of an icy fan, like I don't get ices. Uh, very rare that I ever get an icy. But if I was gonna get one, uh, Ralph Clatt, why does it look like Billy Kay had a shitload of plastic surgery? I don't think she had plastic surgery. No, no. I think her her face is just like I don't know. I I feel you, Ralph. I understand what you mean. You think so? No, I don't I don't think she's had plastic surgery. I think that's always just how she looked though. I think she just has so much makeup on that it looks weird. She has too much makeup on. Alex Romero, push Barry Delete, Alistair Black versus Finn Balor, Alistair Black versus Dean Ambrose, and Alistair Black versus AJ Styles. So Alistair Black fan. What was the first one? Alistair Black versus Balor? Yeah. I think Alistair Black versus Balor and his demon gimmick. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Push but, that. but then you have Alistair Black and his ability on the ropes with AJ Styles and his ability on the ropes. I'm sure those guys could fucking spring all over the place. Yeah. I don't know. I, th- I feel like we have to get to know Alistair Black more. True. 
We have to find out if he's good or evil. That's true. We do. <laughs> we also have to see if he can cut a fucking promo. Yeah. You know, like, that's the thing. Like, how into the guy can you get if we don't even know any, like, you know? Uh, how much farther can you go without him talking? Right. Yeah. He has to be able to cut a promo or something. So. Well, let's see. Broken Paul, do you think 205 Live would be more successful uh, in full sale like NXT instead of the larger SmackDown Live crowd? I mean, yeah, because everyone leaves when fucking 205 Live uh, sets up. And it probably ends up being the size of a 205 crowd. Mm-hmm. Or, or an NXT, NXT crowd. crowd. Yeah. I do, but I do wonder because everyone raved at the atmosphere for the CWC, and, and that, that was, was at, at full sale. Right. So... Maybe there is so, maybe yeah. there is something to be said for that. Yeah, it's a good point. El Juano was Enzo and Cass's breakup better than DIYs? No, not even close. Not even close. I will say and you can't teach that. Well, they can teach poorly, it. It was very poorly done. So I, I don't will know say what you mean is their breakup better? No, it was so horribly done. I told you week. I told you week one, it should be Cass. Mm-hmm. I told you week two, it's definitely Cass. Week three, it's 100% Cass. Week four, it's 1,000% Cass. Week five, oh, guess what? It's Cass. I will say, I did think that the promo that Cass cut, I thought that was pretty no, fucking good. No, no, his good. promo was good. The promo was it- good and the face facial reactions from Enzo, but it was still not th- the reveal was nowhere in the fucking ballpark. This was not surprising in the least. No. We all knew it was going to be Cass. Which is why I think they made the promo. And the promo had to be great. Yeah. Because if not, then it was just fucking a waste of time. Yeah. Um, DIY, I didn't see coming. Yeah. No you one. You didn't see it coming. No one. Some people claim they did because that whole woman said she was working on a single song for. Well, Okay. I didn't put that together. I just said, "Oh, I guess they'll go their separate ways." But I didn't. I will say for that. Do you think that at the time, that's why the producers at WWE used that logo like they were ending the show? Because you remember at the time they put the logo yeah, up, yeah, yeah. and the logo is okay. That's it. Uh-huh. And then, like right after that, you know, the logo went down. They're still there. Right. Oh shit! Then shit's about to happen. I don't think they did it because of that tweet, no. Oh, okay. No. I just think that was a clever way to do it. It was clever. Yeah. Um, which uh Ron Johnson, which superstar would benefit the most and excel from an NXT run? They would be demoted NXT and then come back in the future. Oh, like um like uh the Irish guy or Scottish guy, what where the fuck his face is? Who McIntyre? Yeah. Yeah, but he left for a few years and then But but similar to that, mm-hmm. eventually go back up strong. Right. That's a good one. It's also someone that... Ty Dillinger. He'd also... <laughs> he could go to... When Bobby what a Roode... a bunch get... of bullshit. Why did you have to remind me of that? I was having a good day. I told you, they need to go to three hours. Been off for a month. No, they need to go they three hours. Don't. No, they don't. Three hours and they'll be able to fit everything you can fit in. Ten minutes of... You can give Ty Dillinger ten fucking minutes. Jesus. Yeah. He's in the dark matches, too. Well, they might as well use him. And the dark matches, the dark matches, the whole reason for the dark match, because it's not on TV, is to put the most popular people there to make the crowd happy. Mm -hmm. And Ty Dillinger's in the dark match, meaning he's one of the most popular guys. Maybe it's just paying his dues. Think of that for a minute. As I've learned, John Cena had to do dark matches for a whole year. We saw Braun Strowman in a dark match. But John Cena was doing dark matches when he was nobody, and he was jobbing out. That's the that's his role before you're anyone. True. Brunch. Everyone knows who Ty Dillinger is, and he's a good guy, which means he's winning the dark match. No, no. Fuck you. Why'd you have to remind me of Ty Dillinger being not used, which is what I said was going to happen once he gets called up. Well, to I be fair. Think, I didn't think it would take less than a month. To put him off TV. To be fair, tell me this. Is it better to be not used or better to be buried? Because I think those are the two options that they had. And they said, we still like the potential of this guy. We don't want to bury him. So we'll just have him on the dark matches until we can figure out something. Figure out a program for him. 
Marcus Muniz says, um, "Oh, no answer." What do you mean, no answer? No answer. He was beating uh, oh, Donald Trump, the fucking tweeted, opera yeah. singer. Shut the fuck up with the Donald Trump tweets. Sorry, no one cares. Do you want me to read it? No. Um, no. Uh, you could have him fight someone, Josh, and not get buried. Come on. Uh, Marcus Muniz, when does Drew McIntyre get a title shot? If he doesn't get one at TakeOver Brooklyn, personally, I believe he will have it take over Houston. He will get his title shot at TakeOver Houston. Well, if it's not Brooklyn, then it will be Houston. I yeah, mean, it won't be on a random NXT I episode. I do think it will be Brooklyn, though, and I hope he does not win. McLovin, if you could book the entire Brook TakeOver Brooklyn card... With the matches you want to see, what matches would you have? Good God. Have to, we have to book the whole pay-per-view? We'll just do the... All right, so the UK championship will be... Uh, Pete Dunne and Tyler Pete, Bates. Pete Dunne versus a guy. Tyler oh. Bates again, probably. Yes. They'll have to do the rematch. I don't think he's done the rematch clause yet. Plus, you could have Authors of Pain and Heavy Machinery oh. and another ladder match. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two out of three falls? No. Oh Hell God. in a cell. Yeah, there you go. Put him in a cell. Uh, ooh, and then you could have Asuka versus uh, Billy K. Billy K. Of course you're going to say and Billy In a 30-minute Iron Man match. Oh, <laughs> no, I, Asuka versus uh, Ember Moon in a cage match. Hmm? Put them in a cage. Well. And then uh, Rude and uh, Drew McIntyre. In just a regular match? Yes. For the title. I like stipulations. For the title. I like stipulations. It's for the title. That's the that's the that's what it's for. Make it extreme rules. No. A kendo stick on a pole match. No, it doesn't need it. Asuka and Ember Moon need something different because we've already seen it once. That's true. Uh oh. Andrew's losing his patience. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrecked Baron. On a scale from Roman Reigns to Steve Austin, how good was this season? Of Better Call Saul. What happened at the end of last season? What was the last? Oh, yeah. Chuck was recording him. Yes. Um, so this whole season was. I think last season was better, better, though. I think last season was better. I've heard that, too. You don't think so? I and, always. And this one had, like, Gus come finally. But mm -hmm. Gus was kind of underwhelming, wasn't he? He didn't really do much. Well, I mean, there's not much that he can and do. And by the way, Mike was not on the last episode. No, he wasn't. The last we saw of Mike was he goes to Cuntface's office mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and gives her his money. Yeah. I hate her so much. Like, she, I hate, I hate her and Todd from Breaking Bad the most. I thought she was cute. Nah. Did you see her hands? No. She has man hands. Ew. Yeah. It's awful. Never mind. She has man hands. Never mind. Oh, that's it. <laughs> um, but no, she's the worst. She's so evil. Yeah. But a different type of evil. But yes. Um, I just, I always thought the first two seasons of Breaking Bad were really slow. And I just really Talking liked. about Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. The Better first two seasons of Better Call Saul were slow? Yeah, I didn't really like it. And I really did enjoy You didn't like the show, season. but you decided to stick around for a third season? I did. I love the cameos. Okay. I love the cameos and all that stuff. And But but this season, I, I just... There were so many more cameos, and like shit was coming at you all the fucking time. Well, here's and the then thing. the close to the season was amazing. Like the After last four or five one, episodes, great. Yeah, after season... Well, the, the one... The the trial or not? It wasn't yeah. really a trial. Well, once once it hit the 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 the, the trial that we're talking about, that's when pff, everything sped up. Did that count as that? Was that a? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When uh -huh. he, when with he, the bar association. When he, talked to when he talked to Chuck and he tricked mm -hmm. him with the battery, like that was yeah. the best. Mm -hmm. That was the highlight of the season. Yeah. Um, but after season one, season one ends making you think, okay, here comes Saul. Right, he's going to turn into Saul Goodman season two. Mm -hmm. And they pull back, and it's like, no, not yet. And then, like at the end of season two, it's like, all right, this is now it's he's gonna be Saul, right, mm -hmm. right. And then season three, it's like, nope, not yet. And then, like now at the end of season three, it's like, okay, now he has to be Saul by season four, right? No, no, no. he has to be now. No, he has to be. I'll tell you why. But he's not. What do you mean he's not? How do you know? He's not Saul yet, though. No, I'm saying 
season four he will be. Well, we've been saying that forever. I know. Eventually he will. I know. But, but win and but probably halfway why through. It has to be now is because and plus this show's got to be longer than Breaking Bad, right? Breaking Bad was only five seasons. I, I There's going to be a fourth season of Better Call Saul, and he's not Saul yet. I only heard it's only going to go another season or two. So it's not going to... I've heard it from, like, uh, sources. I've seen it on the internet. Like, it's only going to... They're, they're only guaranteed one more season, no, but they're trying... every year. I'm just Listen telling you me. what I've seen. No, no, no. They're only guaranteed one you. more year. They're trying That's to fight television. for a second season. Be quiet for a minute, because you don't understand what you're talking about. I'm listening. In TV, you only get and that, you only get one more season. They renew you every year. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I mean? So no, when, when season that is one not st- how it happens. Yes, it is. No, yes, it not. is. Yes, it is. That's after, how TV after works. After season three of Game of Thrones, they weren't gonna. You know what? You're only gonna get one more year. That's HBO, dummy. I'm just telling That's you. That's very different. I'm just telling you. That's not network television. Or cable television. That's so. You're saying after the last season of Breaking Bad, or before the last season, they go. You know what? If the ratings don't pick up, yes. we're not going to extend you. Correct. That is not true. Yes, it is. Dummy. They would have fucking let that thing go on forever. No, they wouldn't have. Walking Dead goes on forever. It's because it is the highest rating cable show. No. Yes, it is. Uh, Donald Trump just tweeted again. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't tell me. I know about this stuff. I know about it too. No, you don't. I read. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. Go back. Better Call Saul season one. They, they. I'm. I guarantee you. They announced that there will be a season two, probably during or right after this. The first season ended. Then season two. When season two ends, there'll be a third season. The, Trust me, this is how it works in so, television. So, how many seasons do you think a Better Call Saul we're gonna get? Forty five. Yeah, this is gonna go on forever. You fucking moron. Tell what are you me, talking how about? many seasons do you think we're gonna get? Vince Gilligan. Again, I always fuck it. Is it Gilligan or Gillian? I thought it was Jillian. No, it's not Jillian. Well, then why the fuck are you asking me? I have no clue. Why should I ask you how to pronounce a word? That's true. Um. <laughs> That's anyways, the creator Vince something. Uh, he originally he said Better Call Saul would be would take place before Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. which so far. First three seasons yep. before Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. It will take place during Breaking Bad and take place after Breaking Bad. And they can't wrap that shit up in one season? In one fucking season? You're going to, what, five years? Go ahead five years? No. I think what happens you next. You think season four is the last season? No, I think it gets two more. Five seasons. That's it. Okay. I think what happens. Maybe, but I'm just saying. I think what happens next season is we're going to get a fast forward. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a year in advance, and we're probably going to skip some of this shit that's probably going to be after Chuck's funeral. It's going to be after uh, um, uh, him and him and what's her face, Kim and Kim break up. And it's going to be as he's starting. You think to, there'll be some of a time jump? I do. I think this is going to be I as so we're too, wrapping up his the year his probation. Yeah, it has to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It has to. I agree with you. Which there. will speed up the timeline, which will get us closer to Breaking Bad, uh-huh. and then we'll be after past Breaking Bad because there's not many stories you can tell once you get to Breaking Bad. You mean once you get to after Breaking Bad? No, after once you get to after Breaking Bad, I'm sure you could tell whatever you want. Maybe he goes back to Kim. Who knows? Well, but I'm no, just but saying. There's other things in the Breaking Bad universe. Saul Goodman had other clients other than Walter White. Yeah. Well. Did he? I mean, the, yes. yeah, that was always filled with people, but that was his main focus once he got there. Of course. And why are you going to tell you any other, other stories shit. about two-bit story. drug dealers and stuff like that? You can tell another story. Maybe, but I, I don't know how much you want to fool around with that once he gets to the Breaking Bad timeline. Uh-huh. You tell a couple stories that maybe you didn't see with Walt and Jesse, and then you go I right don't know past if you the could, future. You do that, really. Because Breaking Bad, you're just... You're you're seeing everything that's Walt is you know what I mean? Yeah. Breaking Bad is Walt's life. But may, but this time you're telling it through. Yeah, but then you're just doing the same eyes. fucking scene again. That's stupid. No, no, no. Maybe. No. I don't know. Uh. But no, because the last thing Chuck told Jimmy was like, 
look, you're always going to fuck up people's lives. That's what you do. You're a piece of shit. Oh, my God. And then that Chuck, was awful. And then Chuck dies, so Jimmy's going to take that. Like he, Chuck took that horrible thing with him to the grave, basically. He never made up with his brother. It's going to... That's what's going to turn. Jimmy. Could you imagine if, if like Joe walked in one day and said, Andrew, I never really f- thought very much of you. I, I wouldn't do what, what, what Saul, what Jimmy did and just turn around and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> did you just beat the shit out of him? Yeah, ah! Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, that was the fucking coldest thing I've ever that heard in my life. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah. I never really thought that much about you anyways. You never really mattered to me. That never much. really mattered to me that much. Yeah. What is he, a fucking fly? Jesus. He's been an asshole. It's awful. Yeah. Awful. And then like in one day, he fucking tears down his house. That was crazy. And then and then sets it on fire. Mm-hmm. Now, people are saying he committed suicide. He Do you think he com- you think that was suicide? Yes. Okay. You don't? I I like how as is soon it, as the how- show ends, as soon as the show ended, Josh, I know the fire comes up. I know. No, no, no. The next thing they show is the suicide fucking number. What? The show ends, it goes to black after the fire, and then it put they put up the the suicide hotline. I did not remember that. Yes, they did. I did not see that. They put the number. Hmm. The suicide hotline number. So yes. Interesting. It was. Well, my whole contention Why else was he kicking the lantern over? Well, that's what I was gonna say. My whole contention was is it a suicide if he's if he's disturbed? And he's just doing that, and he's not knowing what he's fucking doing, just kicking the fucking table. No, he was sui- it was suicide. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you wanted to fucking do it quicker, you just fucking knock the bitch over. Instead, he fucking... It's, no, it was, it was, yeah, it was suicide. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I did not see the suicide number. Interesting. Well, you just turned it off after it went to black? I did. I was fucking so distraught, <laughs> crying. It was awful. When, when he started tearing Chuck. the house down, I thought, I thought, like halfway in the show, in the episode, I thought he's gonna like hit a wire and electrocute himself to death. I thought that too. You did because <laughs> eventually, because he's reaching on the fucking yeah, bare hands. Yeah, I was like, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna grab a fucking live so wire. So I thought he was gonna kill himself, mm-hmm. but by accident. Yeah, no, he did it on purpose. Um, Jason Deerham, if American Alpha and the Ascension had a loser, goes back to NXT match. Who disqualifies themselves first? Who disqualifies them? Oh, because they would want to go back. Probably American Alpha. At least they were the champs then, and they were... They were over like Rover. They were over. Uh, Who did we say should go back to NXT, by the way? Ty Dillinger. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Adam Wilson, have you seen the new Friday the 13th game? What are your thoughts on it? And, Andrew, you need to get it so we can play. I see the trailer. Friday the Thirteenth game. Yeah, I see the trailer and like you run away from. Well, I get, you could also play as Jason and you you kill a bunch of teenagers what? in a cabin. <laughs> the, like a game you can play on like Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah, that is awful. Awful. And people fucking think that you can that that people that play like war games are the ones that fucking murder people. People who play those type of games are the ones that you should watch out for. So Adam Wilson's a murderer. Adam Wilson. I, I've never met him in real life, but people who watch scary movies. So I play Grand Theft Auto, so that I'm I'm a psychopath, Josh. Mm. Or is it's a release for me? I, I worry about you sometimes. It's a release for me. I've been in the car with you when you drive. I worry. Okay. Did I run anyone over? Not yet. Did I get one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars? Did I get any stars? No. I don't know what that means. It's great. Oh, I never played Grand Theft Auto. You don't get references if you don't. Experience life, Josh. I was a vi- experience in a video game. <laughs> How is experience in a video <laughs> game experiencing life? Because Grand Theft Auto is, is a great game. You should play it. I guess. Come on. Everyone know. If if Eric was here, he'd know what I'm talking about. If Joe was here, he'd know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Kayfabe Jobber. Is there enough money in this world to fix whatever in the blue hell is wrong with Josh? Wow. Yeah, we just need a pair of scissors. Cut the ponytail off. <laughs> oh, ponytail's legit. What do I have to do to get that to get that off off you? Oh, I'm, it's not coming off till I can do the cornrows. Oh, so never. Uh, well, also, it's thoughts. Getting, it's getting almost. K. Fabe Jobber says, uh, "What are your thoughts on the upcoming Spider-Man movie?" I don't know. 
it honestly does not look good. I'm worried that they're showing too many scenes. No, they definitely showed the whole movie. We've already seen the whole movie yeah. in the trailer. Um, I mean, I do love Michael Keaton. He's a great actor. Mm -hmm. So those scenes should be good. However, you can only do so much with the dialogue you're given. And also, it seems like Michael Keaton's barely in the fucking movie. I'm worried about that as well. You know? It's going to be one of those things. Yeah. And it sucks and it's just because I was Avengers, really high about this. And it's just another Avengers uh, spinoff. It really, that's what it is. It's an Avengers spinoff with special appearance by Robert Downey Jr. You know, it's like a cheap TV spinoff that... Yeah. And he's, again, I don't like that he's back in high school. And look, I'm very passionate about Spider-Man because he's my favorite superhero. I'm just so tired of him keeping going. You keep going back to high school. Enough. Well, at least they're not going to murder Uncle Ben. He's already murdered. Probably. He, no, he was already murdered. He's already been murdered. He's alone with Aunt May now. And Aunt May is hot as fuck now. And that makes no sense. <laughs> Marissa Tomei. She is pretty hot. Um, but see, what I liked about Wonder Woman it was it actually wasn't an Avengers. It really Avengers. It really wasn't a Justice League, uh, like spinoff. Yeah, it was his own thing. It was it was its own thing, and there weren't any other superheroes in the movie. Like, yeah, no, she gets a letter from Bruce, but that's not a big deal. Well, that's just how they do it in their universe, though. I mean, Ant Man even had Avengers people in it. Yeah, but Batman and Sup Batman versus Superman, they fucking. We started watching YouTube clips of all the superheroes in that one scene. That, that, was, one, was, that one was fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Of course I'll see Spider-Man opening weekend because I love Spider-Man, but I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm afraid. I still haven't seen Wonder Woman yet. I do want to see it. Yeah, it's good. You should see it. Uh, Jay Bizzle, what angers Josh Moore? The dump, uh, that the dumpy Mexican with a man bun look hasn't caught on? Or that kids don't pay toll when they cross your bridge? I don't even know what that means. Because you're a troll under a bridge? I think that's what he means. I don't think I am. You don't think you are? No. All right. Oh, man. I do wish my hair was longer, though. How much longer? Oh, my God. If it was just another few inches. But look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, Watch. what do you want to be a couple more inches longer? My hair. Watch your this. Your hair? Are you sure just your hair? Just my hair. Watch this. You ready? Yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> what did that do? It's not so cool. Look at that. I've never been able to do that before. Okay, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Hold on. My hair, it's all in my eyes. Hold on. Andrew, watch. That's gone. That's terrible. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so cool. That's a, that's like that's hot when the hot women do it with their hair and you just ruined it <laughs> forever. Uh Why do you have to ruin everything that hot women do? <laughs> like blowing kisses like Lana <laughs> doing the fucking Peyton Royce and Billy Kay thing and <laughs> that is not true not true bullshit if anything I enhance add ING to the end of a movie title what is the movie plot now that's pretty funny Jurassic Parking Oh. <laughs> John Wicking instead of shooting he makes candles that's pretty funny what else? Wonder no, Womaning? No holds barding? No. No holds. No, no, that doesn't work. James Bonding? <laughs> Fast and Furiousing? <laughs> Fast and Furiousing? No, that's, dude, that doesn't work. It has to change the plot. Like James Bonding, that's a different movie. Sword Fishing? Yeah. A movie it. about yeah. swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, this is funny. I like this. Goodfellasing? No, that doesn't work. Terminatoring? That doesn't change nah, the, the plot, though. Thing. No, it doesn't really change. <laughs> it's the it. same movie. <laughs> Damn. You got anything else? Curious case of Benjamin Benjamin Buttering. Button, buttoning, buttering, ring, button, ring, button, buttoning, button, button, I'm gonna stop. I can't stop. do it. I can't do it.